Hi everyone, welcome to Story Time. And today we're going to be reading a book that I actually read in the classrooms this morning with the primary age students. It's called My Body Belongs to Me, From My Head to My Toes. Now this book was created by Pro Familia. Um, the original book was published in 1994 in German. It was not translated to English until 2014. But they do have a whole series of these books that have a lot of learning um, themes to them around certain things. I really like this one. This is the only one of the series I have because I think it is a very strong book that children need to hear. And this morning when we read the book in the classrooms, we practiced using the words that the book talks about. And so today we're gonna to go ahead and read this book. There, was a, there is a foreword in this book. It's by the International Center for Assault Prevention, ICAP. So parents, if you would like to see that, I recommend you know being able to read that on your own. And to get this book also at home and go over it with your child because we really want our children to be strong. I'm Clara, and I have something really special. My body, it belongs only to me. When I was still a baby, my body looked quite different. But I'm growing and growing, and my body and I are changing. Really thick pages, guys. <laughs> I'm proud of myself and my body. Sometimes I want to be close to somebody. When I do, our bodies touch. Look, they have an arm around each other. Looks like those friends are sharing a nice moment. It feels nice and cozy when Papa hugs me. I like to cuddle with him. It's comfortable sitting on my granny's lap. We are very close to each other then. What lovely moments. Holding a little baby is not so easy. You have to be close when you hold a baby's hands. When I tickle my friend, we touch each other and laugh a lot. Touching each other can be something very special, but I alone decide if and by whom I'd like to be touched. Sometimes I simply don't want to be touched. I don't think it's funny when somebody tickles me way too much. I don't want that to happen. I think it's icky when somebody gives me a big, fat, sloppy kiss. I don't want that type of touch either. I also don't like it when a dog licks me with his wet tongue. I feel trapped when somebody holds me too tight. I don't want to be held like that. Whenever somebody touches me and I don't like it, I say, stop it. Don't touch me. I don't want you to. I like those strong words. If I'm asked to touch somebody, but I don't want to, I just don't do it. I say, no, I don't want to touch you. I don't feel like it. You should try saying it out loud too, loud and clear. Don't touch me. I don't like it. You can also say, I don't want you to touch me, or I don't want to touch you, sorry. I don't feel like it. See, don't touch me. I don't want you to. I think it's great that people touch each other when they both want to. Don't you think so too? But when I don't feel comfortable, then I don't let anyone touch me. I say no. That's because I decide when I would like to be touched and by whom, and you should too. Sometimes a person doesn't stop when I say no and keeps on touching in a way that doesn't feel good. You must stick up for yourself. If you can't do it by yourself, then tell somebody you trust about it and they will help you. 
people we trust, our moms and dads, right? Our teachers. Think about it. Your body belongs only to you. It's something very special. So friends, I hope you'll practice the words in this book too. Practice saying no and don't touch me when you don't want to. Ask if you may give a hug to friends. Have people ask if they can give you a hug instead of just running up and hugging you. Because your body belongs to you and you get to decide. Have a great day, everyone.